Welcome to Moving Math and Science. In this video, let's go over factor by grouping. To begin with, you need four terms in order to factor with grouping. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to group the first two terms together, last two terms together, and the second sign, which would be this, goes with the second group. Okay. Then we're going to find the GCF of each, each group and divide each group by the GCF. Then we're going to write the GCF out front of each set from step two, and then we'll factor out a common binomial and write the remaining terms as the second factor. So let's see what that looks like in practice. Okay, so let's first group, okay? And remember, this sign or operation goes with the second group. Now let's find the GCF of each of these. We have two constants. The uh, GCF of 6 and 36 is 6. Let's see what uh, variables we have in common. We have an X, uh, no Z, and it's to the first power, and this to the first power. So there's our GCF here. Okay, and let's go ahead and get the GCF over here. Now, a uh, helpful hint. If this uh, term in the second group is negative, your GCF is going to be negative because it factors out the negative, and you'll see how that happens in just a moment. So we have um, two constants. So the GCF of 7 and uh, 42 will be a negative 7. Remember, it's going to take this, this sign. Okay. Now we have a common Y. It's to the first power, so it's at the lowest. And then we have our GCF of both terms. Now let's um, start dividing. Okay, so like step three, let's place this out front. Okay, and now let's start dividing. This uh, the this becomes one six x divided by six x is one plus six goes into thirty six six times, and the x's cancel out, and that gives us a z. Now we um, write the GCF out front, okay? And now you will notice how it ends up factoring out the negative, or the, yes, the negative sign. So this becomes a negative 7y, negative 7y becomes a 1, and then minus uh, a negative and a negative is a positive. That becomes a 6y's cancel z, okay? Now, uh, you know that you can factor by grouping, or if you've done it correctly, if these two are the same. So let's do this. Let's write the matching binomials out front. 1 plus 6z. Let's cancel them out. And what is remaining? We have 6x minus 7y. So there we are. Uh, that is this polynomial factored using grouping is here's our answer. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching and remember kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.